to the Jeremy Hill Show. This is a men's channel with men content. If that is something that you enjoy watching, do me a favor. Hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's get into it, sir. This is my, my whole personal humble opinion. I believe that the modern day black woman has become the biggest social media whore on the planet. Now, normally I just shoot from the brain when I speak, but this time I actually thought this was serious enough to write it down. So I'm gonna speak some of this to y'all, what I wrote down about why I believe that black women, the modern day black women, are the biggest social media whores on the planet. Let's get started. Now, when a woman is a social media whore, she invites the past, her past, into your present. What do I mean? Through the usage of social media, a black woman can keep in touch with her ex-boyfriends, <clears throat> her bisexual or lesbian girlfriends whom she had sex with on the down low or people know about it. It also allows them to keep in touch with their past sneaky links or set up future sexual rendezvous with their sneaky links. When a black woman is a social media whore, she has allowed the social media platforms of various ones, such as Instagram, OnlyFools, I mean OnlyFans, Facebook, to become her pimp. Because women use social media to engage in prostitution. These black women, they will meet men to have sex with for money on social media, or men would pay to be voyeurs, to watch them have sex with other people or sexually please themselves for a fee if they're subscribed to OnlyFoods or OnlyFans or other things. Black women who are social media whores, they grow more and more obsessive, that's all, they grow more and more obsessive with social media and less and less obsessive with femininity, submiss submissiveness, cooperation with men, etc. These type of women who are social media whores, they wake up in the morning reaching for their phones, going through Snapchat, Facebook, etc. They do all of this before they even brush their teeth or wash their nasty, dirty butts when they wake up. They don't take a shower. <laughs> they gotta go through social media first before they go brush their teeth, take a pee or anything else while they're still in bed. Now, one of the things about social media, it has allowed the modern day black woman to become nosy. This is why you can't go on a date with some of them because when you're on a date with these women, they stay in their phones. They always looking at a social media platform seeing who said what, who did what, who texted me because they value what's going on on social media more than the man that's actually taking them out on a date and paying for the meal. Another problem with social media, when you got a social media whore, they will compare your relationship with other people's relationships that they see online. If they see their girlfriend just got a car, or just got some kind of present, they'll compare that relationship to your relationship because you haven't done it. You may have done it, but because you haven't done it as much as she wants you to have done it, she'll be on you about it. A social media whore. These are the women that you can turn on Instagram or Twitter and they put their butts, their booties, on the sink in the bathroom to make it look like their butt is higher. They'll sit on it so you can see the side of their butt because they are social media whores. And that's what they are and they know it, they don't care. A social media whore wants the world to know exactly what she's doing at all times. She can mess around and cook a, a omelet she gonna put on social media. She can go walk her dog, it's gonna be on social media. She can drink something, it's gonna be on social media. If she's going in a group with a group of friends to any party, to any club, to any restaurant, it will be on social media because that's her God now. Social media has become the God of many loose black American modern day women. A lot of women worship social media. They have lost their own identities. Their identities are now determined by how many likes they get for a picture on social media, how many retweets they get on social media. This makes them feel validated. They get a lot of attention from social media. See, on social media, it's a way of cheating without cheating sometimes. 
because these women will entertain the sexual advancements that they receive in their DMs. They're entertaining, they may even respond, might like it, might not even say anything, but they, they won't block the dude because they enjoy the attention that they're getting because they are, say it with me, social media whores. This is what's going on in the black community. Think about all the challenges that um that's coming across now. The TikTok challenges and whatnot. It's funny to me how every challenge now gets more and more whorish because the American black women of today, they worship and they celebrate whoredom. Anything that's sexy, anything that's over-sexual, anything that's hypersexual, these modern day black women will accept the challenge. I saw a black girl on TikTok or something with a gas pump that you get when you put a gas in your um, car, the part where you squeeze and the gas shoot out of, she put a rubber on it, a condom, and then put it in her mouth and acted as if she was giving that pump fellatio. Some of you might have seen that. Think about what I'm saying. How is it that today's modern day black women have gotten to the point where they care so little about themselves that they don't mind coming across as whores and hookers and prostitutes? And they want a man to accept that. They're not marriageable women. The modern day black women are nothing more than disappointments and whores, in my most humble opinion. Because it is my opinion. Freedom of speech, baby. But the thing is, my observations of today, modern day black woman, is, is not just my own. Many other black men see this. Women in the club popping. You know, women don't celebrate getting a masters as much as they used to in the hood. Because positivity is never accepted really in the hood. Women strive and dedicate themselves to be strippers. Think about what I'm saying. Instead of getting a job, that may not pay as much money as they want them, wanted to pay, they rather go expose all their body parts to random men, putting themselves in a position where a man can follow them home and rape them. All for the mighty dollar, all because they are social media whores. And when you see these strippers and stuff like that, if they on the pole, they gonna put it on social media. For some reason, social media has become the validation of black women. They don't have no morals. They don't have nothing to compare themselves now to say, hey, this is what a real black woman is. Because they are flooded with images from social media of what black women are today, which is nothing but whores. They make them look like whores. They make them dress like whores. They talk whorishly. So I just wanted to put that out there, gentlemen, and tell you why I think that today's modern day black woman is the biggest social media whore on the planet. They follow the example of many other whores on social media. And like I said before, they use social media to stay in touch with their girlfriends, their exes, their ex-husbands, their ex-fiancés. Think about what I'm saying, because a lot of you have dealt with women who when they cheat, they're all over social media. They stay in touch with the wrong kinds of people. It's a connection to the streets. Because most women who, I'm sorry, all women who are social media whores are for the streets. And I said and I mean it. Now, gentlemen, if you hear anything that made sense to you or you agree with, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. More men's content on the way soon. Guaranteed. Have a good day. Oh, one more thing. I'm going to try to keep doing my live shows probably on Sundays. Y'all can catch me on Sunday when I do live shows. Feel free to call in. I was seeing the link to the show on StreamYard. Um, I think last time went kind of well for my first time. And I thank y'all for y'all support.